We're gonna make a salad dressing in a little mason jar. You can double or triple the batch and leave it in the fridge. And all week long, I just chop up a, a mixed salad and keep the greens naked. And as you eat through it during the week, you don't throw any of it in the garbage. Today, I've got enough for four portions here. That'll more than take care of our craft service table. So um, I'm not doing it the way I would roll at home. I'm just gonna make a single batch. You want about two tablespoons of uh, white wine vinegar, or red wine vinegar, wine vinegar, generally. Uh, we're gonna put in a little squirt of Dijon mustard. We're gonna balance that with a little bit of super fine sugar or squirt of honey. This is Italian acacia honey. Honey, the rule is the lighter the color, the lighter the flavor. So this will be just a natural sweetness in, in the dressing. And then about a half a palmful each of granulated onion and garlic. About the same of dry parsley. Red pepper flakes. Basically, this is the dressing you get at every pizzeria in America, or those old Seven Seas Italian dressing shaker things, except we're making it ourselves. A little red pepper flake and a little oregano or marjoram. Olive oil, of course. The rule when you're making dressing is three times the amount of acid. So if your acid is two tablespoons, you want about six tablespoons or about a third of a cup of the EVOO, of your olive oil. And you could just eyeball it on the side of the jar. When one is three times deeper than the other, you're done. A little salt and pepper and give it a shimmy shake. Boop. Salt, pepper, lid. Now for the salad, fennel, fresh fennel, red onion and romaine lettuce. I top that with a little marinated mushroom, roasted red pepper, hot pickled cherry pepper, artichoke heart, our dressing. Mm. And, and a double handful of salami. Ha, 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 ha.